Don't be surprised when the Packers don't stick and pick at 15. When you look at the players that the Packers brought in on top 30 visits, Michael Mayer is the highest, number 24 on the consensus boards. Nobody before that. Now you can argue, you know, JSN is probably on their target and there's more steam picking up around that. But short of, you know, JSN, maybe Paris Johnson Jr., or Darnell Wright, maybe, the odds are they're going to try to pick up more draft capital later on and bounce back to somewhere in maybe like the 20s and still get one of their top tight ends. The top three players on the consensus board that they brought in were tight ends. That tells you something. They want a tight end early. But that doesn't tell you that they necessarily want to pick that tight end at 15. You know, the positional value is arguable there. The, the amount of money you're going to spend on that player at number 15 is higher than you probably ideally want to pay for a tight end. So another thing to think about with that, you know, you're picking up that extra draft capital. The Packers are trying to cut some salary over the next couple of years. The cap situation is going to be better once the Rodgers trade, you know, goes through for the future. But we still have David Bakhtiari next year with a $40 million cap hit. That is not ideal. So we still need to save some money. How do you do that? You bring in more talented players in the draft. So if you can pick up another, you know, top 100 pick by trading back, you know, four, five, eight spots, something like that, that's a potential starting caliber player if you get the right guy and you're paying them a lot less money on a rookie deal. Consider this too. We haven't heard a whole lot of steam about the Packers being interested in the 13th pick from the Jets in this trade. We're hearing a guaranteed first is what they want for 2024, not for 2023. That might be telling you too that they're not as high on some of the prospects in this draft as you know has been kind of bantied about by a number of different people that like the strength of this draft is really you know, day two. So just don't be surprised when the Packers don't pick at number 15 and we pick up some extra draft capital.